Hey everybody, Steve here, and uh, I'm excited about today's video. If you follow the channel, you know that I got uh, dual fans and a Griffin radiator a couple years ago, and uh, this is basically the install with relays and stuff like that. And uh, when I did the video for this, I got a comment from a guy who said that I would be better off with a solid state pulse modulated fan controller. So what you're looking at here is a radiator fan controller, but what it has is solid state pulse width modulated fan controls. So there's no relays. So uh, check out the uh, URL here, autocoolguy.com. So we're gonna go ahead and install this today. All right, so objective one is figuring out where to install it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. All right, so the first thing I did was disconnected the negative battery terminal. All right, I'm gonna take this metal plate out of the way. So give me more room. And I'm gonna take the cover to the fuse box out, seeing as how that's what I want to affix the, uh, the unit to. And it's just uh, two little hooks that hook into these little holes right there. And as soon as you get rid of them and disconnect everything, this comes right out. And this is what we're after, because we're gonna mount right there. All right, so let's talk about wiring. And I know there's a lot of wires here, but don't let them scare you because it's actually very easy. So just think about this. I've got two fans, and for each fan, I've got a red wire and a black wire. Well, the reds, simply enough, get a 30 amp inline fuse placed in them, and the red lines go straight to the battery. The black ones are the return lines, and they go to the unit where it says fan. And then here, you just tie this to ground somewhere on the car. So I'm gonna be using that wire for that. All right, so let's take a look at this side. BAT is for battery. I'm gonna have a wire with a one amp fuse going straight to the battery. So IGN is um, ignition. So you gotta find some switched power. I went into the fuse box and I found a fuse that was switched power. And I just used a fuse tap to tap into it so I could put two fuses in one place. And that wire will go to the IGN. GND is ground, very simple, just another ground wire. And then SEN and SEN, those are your sensors. So these go to the thermostat. AC is optional. Uh, essentially what this wire does is it will run your fans anytime your compressor is engaged. FS is for fail safe. This is an optional one. You could uh, run a wire into the car with a switch and then you could basically turn the fans on and off manually that way. So it looks scary, but it's really not. It's very, very straightforward. All right, so I got my lower radiator hose right there. That's the big fat one. And essentially I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna insert this guy right here, which is also gonna have the sensor in it. And then I've got to wire the sense, the sensor to uh, the two SEN ports on the black box. So this is gonna be probably a little bit messy. All right, so for my thermostat, I'm just gonna put this uh, inline copper piece uh, in the lower radiator hose and I'm halfway done. And now the hard part is getting it into the other side. So uh, I'm gonna do that. And then I'll uh, put the sensor in. And I'll go from there. Okay, so it might wanna fight you a little bit, but that's what we're after right there. Okay, so I've wired up the uh, sensor. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in right there and uh, run the wire up to the uh, Auto Cool Guy unit. All right, so I have finished all my wiring. And I've got the auto cool unit attached to the cover of my fuse box. And I'm ready to start wiring stuff up, start testing. So I got my grounds all hooked up on this side. And I got everything else hooked up on this side. All right, so. So I've got the unit installed and I've got everything wired. And now there's nothing left to do besides test it. So uh, step one is to uh, fire it up and let it get warm. All right, so it's been about five minutes. Temperature up at least off of 160. And uh, let's go see what the uh, outflow temp is. So currently 80 degrees, 81. I'll let that get a few more degrees hot and then we'll mess with it. All right, so the car's pretty much warmed up. There are no lights on there yet. And we're measuring the outflow here. This is the upper radiator hose here. 
And just for way of comparison, and this is where the thermostat's at. So uh, between 185, it's probably right around 200 maybe. So I want the fans to start coming on now. And now I'm gonna press the blue button and start lighting up these things. So here we go, and I can hold it down to adjust the fan speed to however fast I want the fans to be running. I figure let's let them go as fast as they can. So there we go. The fans are running. All right, so these fans are gonna speed up and slow down based on the outflow temperature because that's where my thermometer is. And they have slowed down substantially down to two little dots. And that's the RPM speed of the fans. And if we check out flow, it's maintaining an outflow temperature of right around 100 degrees. A tick less than 100 degrees. The fans are off. So, Pulled it all the way back down to 90. The outflow temp has been reduced to uh, 93, 92. And it's not running right now because it doesn't have to run right now. If I wanted to allow it to get hotter, that's when I press the red button. Now this placement's not ideal, but you're supposed to just set it once and forget it. But I'm going to hold down this red button for a while. That should program it to allow itself to get warmer before the fans come on. All right, so because I hit that uh, red button, I basically said let it get warmer. And it's at uh, 108, 110, and it still hasn't come on yet. So it's really letting things get a lot hotter this time because I told it not to come on. 15 on the outflow, still no lights. All right, so 119, it came on. All right, so I've been playing with this thing, getting it dialed in, and uh, I've got it to where I want it to come on. I want it to start coming on as it gets to around 104, 105. So right now you see it's at 101. It's not on at all. So what this thing is doing is it's totally regulating itself based on the outflow temperature that I chose. I basically said, hey, turn on right around 105. And what do I got over here? I've got two dots, 20% on the fans. So the fans are at 20%. If I can hold this thing steady, and I've asked it to come on and start doing its thing right around 105. So right now it's hovering around 100, so it's not on at all. The fans aren't running, so it's gonna eventually it's gonna get hot again. And when it hits 105, the unit's gonna come back on, tell the fans to spin, and cool it down. And inside the temp says it's right around 190. So uh, so it's regulating at exactly where I want it to regulate at. All right, and there's one other thing to show you, and that is that when I turn the air conditioner on, so the compressor goes on, I already heard the fans come on. Let's go see what's going on with the, uh, so the fans are lit up, 90%, uh, lit up 90%. So just by turning on the uh, air conditioner, it's going to cause the fans to run much faster. And make sure I hold the laser beam on the right thing. There's the laser beam on the right thing right there. These fans are really, really cooling stuff down. And it's actually allowing them to slow down as it gets cooler. So in closing, I think it's a great little device. Um, you know, lets the user determine when the fan comes on and when they go off and uh, and it also soft starts the fans so that they don't go you know onto 100% right away 
So all in all, I got to say I'm very impressed with this little unit. Uh, it's great for the user to be able to define when the fans come on and when they go off. And it allows you to maintain a rock solid radiator temperature that you want to maintain. And the fans don't just come on at 100% and then you know click off based on one thermostat number. It was very easy to install. The instructions were very straightforward. And the guy, his name is Daryl. Uh, if you call him and ask him any questions, uh, he's a great guy. He's very, very quick to return calls, answer any questions you have via call or email. And uh, just all around a pleasure to do business with. So... Uh, if you want to get your hands on one of these things, go to autocoolguy.com. I'm Steve. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, by the way, hit the little bell if you want to uh, receive notifications every time I come out with a new video because I've got a whole bunch of them coming down the pike. So anyhow, this is Steve signing off. See ya.